<laughs> Robin, let's that do a little really news. It really is low. Okay, well, it's time to find out. We've seen the pictures. What does Beth have to say? <laughs> oh, the kind of late in the show for that, isn't it? <laughs> the lead well, I story. told you it'd be the news. You decide when that goes on. Go ahead. Let's hear it. All right. First of all, uh, this uh, whoever is interviewing her has a little bit to say about Beth before uh, they even start asking her questions. She uh, indicates that Beth had never listened to the show before. It's true. But they, re they write it this way. Beth had never listened to the show before she met her flatulent megastar boyfriend. <laughs> Great. Uh, Not necessary. <laughs> Jesus. Which I thought was funny. Uh, she said, uh, I don't want to get confused. She admits, I know him as how he was when I met him. And from what I hear, he's just so different on the show. Mm. His shtick on the air is very different from the way he really is. I don't listen. Wow. And by the way, I think that's very healthy. <laughs> I'm so thrilled that my girlfriend doesn't listen. Steve, you're on the air. Hello. Yeah. How you doing? What's up? Not so much. I just wanted to say that I don't think Monet is so hot. No, nah, she's hot. You weren't in here, so. bro. You weren't in here. I definitely don't think so. Yeah. I was looking at pictures on the web, and I think the flop out of town out there. All right, that's the European. All right, you're entitled. <laughs> Thank you. That's best. Please go it. All right, thanks, Steve. Beth's indifference to Howard's daily performance doesn't stop Stern from dropping in at her FHM shoot at a Brooklyn studio. Can I just say something? <laughs> she asked me to come to the shoot. I've never been to one of her shoots in my life. She asked me to come by, and I said I would. Were you barking out orders? No. I, I said this is ridiculous, and I'm here, and I left after about a half hour. She says, I've always wanted him to come and see me. But it was just not appropriate. Yeah, this was appropriate. It was the first time he's ever seen me work. So there. She did think you were nervous being down there. All right. So I was. Have, uh, Beth was uh, stunning. They say she was walking around the uh, whole set with her bra and panties on, uh, totally comfortable. That's true. So <laughs> the first question was, have you always been happy to be naked in public? Oh, man. What'd she say? She says, I'm 29. I've been modeling since I was nine. So over the years, I've just gotten really comfortable putting on clothes in front of other people. I don't even think about it when I do that anymore. Most of my jobs are for lingerie and bathing suit clients. So I am very, very comfortable with that. It's funny. I'm really insecure with my body. But once I put clothes on to work... Something changes, and I automatically become really confident. All right, so there you go. All right. Nothing funny about that. No. Uh, you're wearing some pretty sexy things. Is your closet at home full of similar items? It is now. <laughs> I never used to be into lingerie, but with this relationship, I've started to experiment with lingerie, and I'm having fun with it. I was never into it. I just thought it was something I had to wear when I went to work. I really love it, though. I find things for special occasions, and I will dress up. I like to look sexy for Howard, and I like having little surprises for him and dressing up in fil frilly things for him. I feel sexy when I do it. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting excited. <laughs> yeah, me too. See, it is a good article. I like the way you read it. What's kind of your comatose? favorite item of clothing? She does a great Beth impression, Robin. <laughs> yeah. I've started getting into shoes now that I don't have to wear flats. That's right. Most of the guys I've been out with have been short. But Howard is six foot five. I wear really high heels now. Yep. He loves how tall I am. I think that's his favorite thing about me physically. Is that true? Yes. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Not her breasts, not her vagina. I like her height. <laughs> Nothing's running a close It's really not, And even Ralph said to me, I stand up straight when I stand next to her. Oh, is that right? That's right. How did you meet him? Who, Ralph? No. Yeah. <laughs> how did Beth meet Howard? Yeah, how did how did she meet A me? A girl I was working with invited me to dinner. I barely knew this girl, but I went because I wasn't dating anyone and I was actually miserable. It was a sad time in my life. I don't know what was going on, but it was a sad time in her life. Howard showed up with his friend Ralph. I knew who he was, but I didn't know a lot about him. We started talking and we haven't been apart since. That was almost two years ago. We kind of clicked right away, and the next morning he called me. What time in the morning did you call? Called her at 8. 
8 o'clock in the morning? Yes. You are wacky. <laughs> <laughs> we hung out till about 4 in the morning, and I called her at 8. Good Lord. Did you, you didn't say as soon as you got home? I don't miss an opportunity. <laughs> the next morning, he called me, so she went, she came right over? No, not right over. She came over that evening. No, she says, I went over and watched movies all day. In the afternoon, she came over. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> she come over at 8 in the morning. Okay. Jeez. And it just blossomed into the most amazing thing in my life. Look at you. Huh? That's not bad. <laughs> Look at you. You're doing all right, pal. Let me see. Did I'm you happy have a, for you. No, you're not. Did you have a fixed perception of what Howard Stern would be like when you first met him? Absolutely. Everybody does. I think I was afraid of him. I thought, Howard Stern, it's not my thing. I know the stigma attached to him, and that's not my type of person. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What's the then, stigma? Then, five minutes after meeting him, I knew what an amazing comedian and a brilliant actor he is. What? That's right. <laughs> I'll razzle dazzle your ass. <laughs> a brilliant actor. Dude. You, you've said to me I'm a brilliant actor. Yeah, but I had seen you act. <laughs> The oh, she saw me acting. I was acting like a horny guy. The why? Oh, I played her my reel. That's five minutes after she met you. Uh, well, what do you think I do? Once I reel someone in, I don't want to lose them. He shows up at the door with an ascot and a robe. Yeah. There you go, and perhaps a pipe. You, yeah, perhaps you'd like to see my reel. <laughs> he wasn't loud and obnoxious. He was very quiet, and I ended up going up and talking to him. And he was just the most gentle sweet man I've ever talked to. Damn. It was a surprise. And the more I talked Yeah, I didn't him, fart on her. <laughs> the more I just wanted him to never leave. He's the perfect man. I'm well, telling you. Ladies, <laughs> listen to what the girl's saying. I'm the perfect man. Oh, my goodness. You I can't know. believe it, right? <laughs> the, even the, the person in doing the interview goes, Really? <laughs> You could, Robin, <laughs> why is it so hard for you to believe that I'm the perfect man? Oh, please. I know you. There must oh, be you're something in love with me too. about him. I love you, big, but I love your imperfections. Mike, you're on the air. <laughs> Robin, yes. uh, one, one thing I want you to hear is a blast from the past. Right. If I had a 20-year-old girlfriend, <laughs> this girl would have meals on the table for me every night, would worship everything I say. Is that true, Howard? Absolutely. Yes. Listen to this article. That's right, see? Now, Robin, why don't you just confess that you love Howard and you can't stand him to be with Beth? I love that he's with Beth. If that makes him happy, that's how much I love Howard. For? You got this sadistic giggle through the whole situation. She thinks oh, funny. please, this is hysterical. <laughs> don't you hey guys? Don't you think this is good for me? I mean, like it makes it seem like I'm a good catch. This is your resume. Yeah. Good for, in fact, is it good for you? Wait yeah. a minute, I'm not finished. There must be something about him that irritates the heck out of you. There's nothing. He's the perfect man? No. It's true. We're still in the honeymoon stage, I guess, but everything he does right now is so sweet. Although my mother always says the little things you thought were so cute end up being really annoying. It's but true. so far, there's not one thing. Mm. Not even the fact that he has to get up at the crack of dawn. No! I'm on his schedule. That's right. People are amazed by that. We go to bed between 8 and 9 every night, and I'm up at 5 with him. I get up and leave when he does, and I go to my apartment, and I start my day. Yeah, and you know what? It's a nice schedule. Please. That's the way we get to see each other. <laughs> Wayne, you're on the air. Wayne. Yeah. You're on the, you're on the air. Hey, Howard, man, i got to tell you. Not only does she have a bad personality, but she looks terrible. What? What? She looks terrible in the magazine. I mean, you talk about John oh, Cage. Please. You know, they should put her in a cage and poke them sticks at her. Oh, you didn't even get the magazine. Right. You're hilarious. How did your family react when they you told them you were dating the king of all media? My mother was appalled. Mother hung up the phone on her. <laughs> she did? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my she God. She said to her mother, I've met the most amazing man, and you're not going to believe who it is. Then I told her, and she was mortified. But <laughs> her, that was before she met him. Her mother's like, Tony Curtis? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She loves him now. Yeah, a lot of moms have a bad reaction to me. <laughs> Are there disadvantages to going out with someone as famous as he is? I hate sharing him. That's the hardest part about being with a celebrity of his status. When we walk down the street, it's not just a normal walk. Nothing is normal. And I hate it when people think that because they watch the show, they know him. See, they ladies, don't know him at all. I'm such a great guy. 
It's very hard <laughs> yeah. to date me because you're going to have to share me with the world. That's right. <laughs> and what about the advantages of dating a Howard Stern? The single best thing about going out with Howard is that we get courtside seats. To the Knicks game. Yeah, we loved it. Damn, <laughs> that's right. And by the way, she said she was misquoted on that because they said to her, what, "What are some of the good things about dating, you know, Howard Stern?" And uh -huh. she said, "Well, like you know, you, you know, it was like, do you have any perks dating Howard?" Said, oh yeah, we went to a, a Nick game the other night. It wasn't like the good thing about dating me is going to Nick game. Uh -huh. Recently, he invited my... They have this in quotes. Recently, he invited my brothers to come too, and it was the greatest thing, just the highlight of my life. Yeah, we had a great time. It's also great for getting reservations in restaurants. That's right. I call and I say, I need a reservation for two, and they say we're fully booked. Then I say, well, I'm actually calling for Howard Stern. This is embarrassing. And they wow. say, see you at eight. Hey, man, uh, <laughs> hey man, can I say that? Yeah, go ahead. I don't care what you say. I may do that tonight. They might throw you out when you don't show up with me. Uh, that's really nice, I must say, and I'm really spoiled with it. And he gets so much free food, we always feel bad. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's enough of reading this. No, no. <laughs> Do people's reactions change once they know who you're seeing? Yeah. Yeah, I was burned at the cross. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm a lot more interesting to people once they find out. I never know what's genuine when I'm with him. That's unsettling. But I have grown to accept that I have fun with it. And I do. I'm proud to be his girlfriend. <sighs> Do people try to knock you out of the way to get to it? Oh, yeah. Women come up to him and completely block me out like I'm not even there. We'll be dancing and women come right in front of me and try to, you know, do whatever they want to do with him. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm standing right there. But Howard always grabs my hand and pulls me in and introduces me as his girlfriend. Yeah. Is there anything you can't do together in public? We can't go to any public place without people just yelling and screaming and asking for his autograph. Jesus. Yeah. This is like a love letter. Well, well. Nice. The D, I'm a great guy. The D, the I, the D, the D, the Y. Bill, you're on the air. It's the H, oh the O, the Rob, W. Rob, well, let Bill talk. Go Rob, ahead, Bill. Rob, please stop. I'm, really, I'm getting sick at my desk right Me here. too. I don't want anybody reading this. this. Is ridiculous. You are so whipped. It's not even funny. Why am I whipped? You I brought didn't your girlfriend to Vegas. You brought your girlfriend to Vegas. I have Vegas. a great time with her. To Las Vegas. If, if Stuttering John brought his girlfriend to Las Vegas, he would have been on the air. You would have had him on the air ripping him a new a-hole. You bring him to Vegas. Hey, because Stuttering John, when he does his gigs, can do whatever he wants. Oh, you are so whipped. In his defense, he this didn't bring her the whole time. Ridiculous. I brought her after the show was over. You, 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 uh, three <sighs> years ago, three years ago, you were saying if this was, if this was somebody else. All right, like, I'm a bad dude oh, because oh, I took oh, my this? girlfriend and banged her in Vegas, okay? <laughs> That's bad. A picture of you and her looks like a kidnapping. It's ridiculous. Oh, it looks you like see, a grand, a grand right, this, for a walk. this is ridiculous. <laughs> this, this article is. Oh, my first God. of all, I'm very youthful looking. <laughs> youthful yes. looking. Yes. For a 46 year old guy, yeah, you look 42. Yeah, come on. Give me a break. <laughs> Holy On mackerel. Christmas Day, she continues, we were walking down Fifth Avenue to see the tree at Rockefeller Center, thinking it would be a normal walk on Christmas Day. And there was a paparazzi photographer taking our picture. That's true. That made people look to see who it was, and they started asking for autographs. We ended up going back home and ordering a movie and Chinese food. Oh. We had high hopes of being outside all day. You know, it's got my we Christmas just beat. couldn't do it. Why is that a bad thing? <laughs> <laughs> Keep it private. This is ridiculous. If this was any other celebrity and they had this article, you'd be, oh, forget it. You'd be all over their tail. Just yeah, I guess. Maybe, well, that's involved. true. You know, he's got a point there. got a point there. there. All right. I've got to read this article. We would jump all over this if it was somebody else. All right, but so go ahead. Jump on me. Has being involved with the soup with a superstar, superstar. I didn't write that. Opinion of uh, what kind of life that is. Yeah, the whole celebrity thing is really hard for me. Oh, it God. makes me very insecure. Oh. When I'm out with Howard, I feel that people are seeing all my faults. I think that's very honest I'm of her. I'm very insecure. So if someone's staring at me, I think they're thinking I'm fat or that Howard could do so much better. So that's a very honest thing to say. You know, I've stared at her for a while. I did, never thought she was fat. Did any experience <laughs> with a previous boyfriend prepare you for dealing with this? Oh, no. Howard is the best. He's just so special. Nobody's like Howard. I no, she a dated a celebrity she, Yeah, before. she dated a famous guy. He was a guy who was on Broadway. So it was... 
Broadway. It's too much lesser Who's a homo? Oh. <laughs> Who was it? Was it Peter Allen? <laughs> <laughs> but people came up and asked for his autograph and things like that. Has being rocketed into the, this level of celebrity changed you? I am more aware of what I wear now when I'm walking down the street. I never really cared about that before. And I'm not one to wear makeup on a normal day when I'm not working. But now I am aware that people will be scrutinizing me and may even be hiding in the bushes to take our picture. And two years, I'm going to do the same article. And she's going to be like, I can't believe I was with Howard. She'll be a star. And she'll be uh, ripping you. Oh, he was so old. He was such a pain in the butt. He never wanted to oh, go out. Oh, stop that. I'm sure she won't say a word about it. Does he make you jog with him? <laughs> Who do they think you are? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> do you make her jog? I don't make her do anything. <laughs> you feel jogged with me? All right, look, look. Since meeting him, yeah. I, nobody's interested in this article. Uh -oh. It's really funny seeing people's reactions when they see him out running. The other day, these two guys had just passed Howard and were talking about how cool he was. Just as I drew level with them, one guy asks, "Have you seen his girlfriend?" And the other guy goes, "No, what's she like?" And the first guy says, "She's the all-American girl." It was so weird to hear people talking about me as if I was, as I was running past them. Howard laughed when I told him. He keeps calling me his all-American girl now. <laughs> See, when you read it, it sounds evil. Uh, Robin is putting a little spin on yeah, it. Yeah, I think it was. I think it was. These two guys were talking about me as I went by. I she heard it. Says it. I'm just reading the words. Oh man. <laughs> now he calls me his all-American girl. And then this guy's going, hey, his girlfriend's an all-American girl. I go, oh, you're an all-American I don't call her my all-American girl. I'm just reading what it says. Uh, you what don't read it right. What school girl were you? All right, I had I, enough of this article. I was a <laughs> I had to study really hard, though, to get a B grade, but I was very popular at school. I was homecoming queen. Sure Howard's was. mortified that he's dating the homecoming queen. He's so anti all that in school. I wouldn't have been anti it if someone would have let me be involved. <laughs> so she didn't get you at all. You know, yeah. if you were dating the homecoming queen when you were in high school. It would have been fun. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, I would have been. I, I would have liked everything if I was dating the homecoming <laughs> queen. Yeah. Did you have lots of boyfriends at school? I always had a boyfriend. Yeah, I had always... serial boyfriends. In fact, this could be the first relationship I've ever had where I didn't have another interest at the same time. Okay. This is the honest to God truth. I have no interest in anyone but him. What do you think of that? Damn. All right. You've been in some small independent movies. Are you building up uh, to launching a big movie career? <laughs> I love doing movies, but it's not something I'm actively pursuing. <laughs> you know what? I'd rather be in a soap. I actually had a soap opera audition last week for Guiding Light. I haven't heard back yet, but I'd love to do a soap. What's wrong with that? I didn't say anything. Was yeah, you're trying to you're trying to read it like 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 it's like she's retarded or something. I'm not. I'd rather do a soap. <laughs> do people trust or do people treat you like you're uh, really dim when they find out you're a model? No, but I always feel like I have to validate myself. Originally, I wanted to be a teacher, and I went to college and studied English literature. I like to make sure people know that because know that because. They do have that idea of a model. It used to bug me, but now I just think, well, I make a nice living, and I've experienced a lot. I lived in Greece and in Germany. I can speak other languages, and because of my modeling, I've learned a lot. Anything wrong with that? No. <laughs> yeah, sir. <see? laughs> do men try to get it on with you all the time because you're a model, and it gives them bragging rights? Well, there's a whole lot of that she's a model, that's cool thing. Men do like it. I get hit on a lot. Being 5'10 with long blonde hair, I'm more obvious to people. Yeah, she I does love, get hit on a lot. I love talking to people, and I enjoy men, so I don't mind guys hitting on me. It's flattering, but when it crosses the line, I'm up front and I say, I'm not interested, I have a boyfriend, but Thank it's you. nice to know you. Right. Are all your friends models? I don't have any girlfriends who are models. Actually, I don't have any girlfriends at all. She, she doesn't? <laughs> no, she doesn't have a lot of girlfriends. Even growing up, I had only one girlfriend. I was always friends with my brothers and with their friends. I feel more comfortable with men. I always have. That's the story. There you go. <laughs> I'm not laughing. Listen to the way the way she said actually in the last quote. She went actually. <laughs> wow. Boy, I wish Mr. X would do Playgirl. 
Oh, I could read the article. Oh, he called me the goodness. all American man. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I thought the interview was sweet. I'll give you my assessment of what you just read. I thought the interview was sweet. There were some very complimentary things said about me, and I'm very flattered. (laughs) Well, it was very complimentary, absolutely. Yeah. She'd be thrilled. How many chicks in a magazine have ever said about a guy, there's nothing wrong with him? None about me. Right. (laughs) (laughs) My girlfriend had a mugshot taken in high school. All right, let's get back to some reality. Letterman may jump to ABC.